Hello, Serial Nation. I'm Papa Swag. I'm Ben. And together we are Serial United. And on this channel, we talk about cereal and anything related to cereal. If that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. Hit that button. Let's go. Well, it's finally here, Ben. The Serial United Championship match. And Woo! And because we're here for the championship match, we've kind of dressed it up a little bit. We put our ties on. Business. Being, yeah, we got a little bit of doing business tonight. I, of course, put on my University of Maryland Terrapin ties, a native uh, Marylander or native ball. ball well, I got my Maryland shirt on as a native, too. I see that. And I got my Terrapin tie on as a, growing up as a fan of that. And also, so you've got, got the uh, red, white, and blue one. Yes. Some people don't like this country. However, I love this country. Yep, and there you go with the uh, the native red, white, and blue and the star. Yes. Proud American, and I'm sitting next to. So, uh, tonight we have, all the way, we've seen Rice Krispies move up the charts, and Fruit Loops, with their scintillating smell, destroying the competition left and right. You know what? These two cereals, I thought they would advance, but I didn't think they'd make it this far. I didn't think either one would be in the final. No, my, my gut in the beginning, if you were to go back, I thought for sure it would be uh, Honey Nut Cheerios versus uh, Cheerios or Special K. That was what my gut yeah. was from the beginning. Those aren't bad guesses, but we got Fruit Loops and Rice Krispies. Yep, and uh, as we upped the competition, I think it gave uh, Fruit Loops a little bit of an advantage with that smell. But Rice Krispies kept on plugging through and some, against some tough competition. Yeah, they did. And, I, and they're our number four seed, so... Maybe the underdog story. They're the underdog story of the tournament. Fruit Loops was the number two seed. No number one seeds entered our championship matches. You know what Rice Krispies reminds me of? UMBC from a couple years ago. The University of Maryland, Baltimore County, Golden Retrievers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The crazy, crazy. If you guys watch March Madness, you should know about UMBC. If you don't, I encourage you to look it up. It's a great story. Yeah. And one of our key viewers that, that's been commenting on our uh our videos, I know him personally from high school, and he was an actual graduate of the UMBC. Oh, he might enjoy this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this was uh, all. So let's get started. Uh, let's get these cereals. Let's get this championship matchup on, the, on, on its way. All right, let's go. Right, ben, let's grab a box of cereal. All right. Maybe not our favorite box, but a box of cereal. Let's smell it and and grate it and pour the cereal. They got a little smell tonight. Mmm, interesting. Interesting. I had to make sure it was actually rice. It's rice krispies. Maybe we, maybe I've been lying this whole time. Doesn't have that much of a smell. Oh yeah, Fruit Loops always got that smell, man. It got a little smell tonight. Yeah, it's got a little bit. That might up its they're, point value they're there. Coming, they're coming for the champ. Yeah, they're pouring it all out. So, Ben, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cereal box a little bit to the right of me, and you can put yours a little bit to the left of you. Probably right. to the viewers, the opposite. That's all right. To the switches when we do the video. So, let me put my appearance down and my uh, smell. So right now we're putting our scores down. All right, we're gonna do Rice Krispies or Fruit Loops first. Papa Swag. Well, since Rice Krispies is the underdog, let's go ahead and do them first. They're the number four seed. They've got it all the way, so let's try them first. And uh, I love both these cereals. I got one without the milk. Yep, a little bit without the milk in them. One thing. I really like about Rice Krispies is even though they're small, they pack a lot of flavor when you're eating them. Dang it, I put down the score in the wrong spot. It's all right. Um, I'll fix it. All right, is it time for Fruit Loops? 
It's time for Fruit Loops. All right. Got my scores on Rice Krispies. Hopefully I'll be able to add better on this episode. It's okay if you don't, I'm here. That's all right. I'm... You get some milk? I got some milk. Let me get some of this without the milk. Same old Papa Swag always trying to break the rules not cleaning his pallets. <laughs> Papa Swag is here and have an honest contest. I want to let you know, this is going to be an honest championship. So I clean my pallet. I have not tasted any of the Fruit Loops yet. Yes. So I'm going to be honest because we want to have a fair. We don't want to have any kind of controversy with the National Cereal Board and coming in here and giving us penalties and fines. That would not be good. That would not be good. We don't need, we need any controversy here. The uh, NCCAAT, whatever that stands for, it has to do with cereal somewhere in there. All right. The National Certified Cereal American Association. We don't want them coming after us. I don't want them coming anywhere near me. Nope. So let's go but ahead. Let's and dig into these Fruit Loops. They got a little bit dry. Oh man, they got a nice fruity flavor. These also have a. They have that artificial fruity flavor that's just delicious. Just full of good sugar. Yeah, but we don't like fruit. But Fruit Loops, we do enjoy. Well, take me right back to 1980. I'm glad it does not take me that back that far. <laughs> Woo. 1980 was a wonderful year. In this household, it might be the best decade of all time. I will never know. Hmm. Let's see. Wow. My score is very close. I'm going to go mine. I don't think mine's going to be that close, but I don't add very well. We've learned over the last couple episodes. I went backwards this time. Sometimes going backwards is the best thing that could happen. I was pretty close too, closer than I expected. Do you think we have a tie? I don't think so. Yeah, we might. I don't think so. Let's go ahead and go through the categories, Ben, for appearance. I had Fruit Loops at four and Rice Krispies at three. I have the exact same. And then for fruit Lo for smell out, I had Fruit Loops at a four and Rice Krispies at a two. I had Rice Krispies at a three tonight, but I also had Fruit Loops at a four. Wow, maybe we might have a tie. <laughs> I hope uh, not. For texture, I had Fruit Loops at a three and Rice Krispies at a four. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, for taste, I had Fruit Loops at five and Rice Krispies at five. For taste, I had them both at a four. And then for crunch, I had Fruit Loops at a five and Rice Krispies at a five. Me too. And my final score was Fruit Loops twenty one and Rice Krispies nineteen. I had Fruit Loops twenty, Rice Krispies nineteen. Okay. Oh, we might have a tie. So 41, 21 plus twenty is forty one. That's Fruit Loops score. And you had nineteen. Yeah. And what'd you have for Rice Krispies? Nineteen. Oh, so that's uh, thirty eight, I think. Thirty eight. So Fruit Loops is the winner. Ladies and gentlemen. And one of the another close matchup, Fruit Loops wins at forty one points, beating Rice Krispies by three points. Uh, bye bye Rice Krispies with thirty eight. Rice Krispies gave a good fight with their smell tonight, and uh, that upped the battle. But winning by three points, the winner, the champion of all time for our first annual Cereal Madness March Madness tournament is Kellogg's Fruit Loops. They are the winner. What are your thoughts on that, Ben? Are you shocked? From the start or now? From the start and from now. From the start, I'm stunned. I didn't think Fruit Loops would win, knowing that we both aren't big fruit guys. However, this cereal does not taste anything like fruit. It has a fruity flavor to it, but it doesn't taste like fruit, and it's a fantastic cereal. As later as it was going on, I could see this winning, and then we added the smell category to it, and Fruit Loops has got to be the best sm smelling cereal out there so far. I've smelled. I absolutely. However, peanut butter Captain Crunch is a fantastic smelling cereal too. I absolutely agree. Not a big Reese's peanut butter crunch. I did not like the smell of peanut butter crunch if I can recall, but that was a long time ago. We might have to do an episode on Captain Crunch peanut butter. We might have to do Captain Crunch peanut butter, uh, but so 
if you've been watching this, what are your thoughts of our champion Kellogg's Fruit Loops? We know it's a delicious tasting cereal. Uh, and what are your thoughts on any of the other shows we've had in the tournament? What's uh, your thoughts on Fruit Loops winning? I am uh, stunned because I did not think that Fruit Loops was going to win this championship. From the beginning, I thought, like I said, my favorite was Honey Nut Cheerios. I thought they had the, the right texture, the right flavor. And even when we added the smell category, I thought they were going to win the other categories by a whole lot more. And they did not. And so I'm stunned. But as we started to add that smell category, I started seeing Fruit Loops gain a lot of momentum with that. But I didn't even think they were going to get out of their own region. Uh, but they did. And so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this was just exciting to know. Like I said, let us know your thoughts on that in our comments. We're, we're curious to know. And one other thing I would like to know, if you missed March Madness this year, tell us one of your favorite memories from March Madness. We'd like to hear about that, too, because we're big basketball fans. Oh, very big basketball fans. Yep. Just big sports fans in general, but basketball is one of the top ones. The basketball, baseball, and football are our, big, our top three. So let us know about that. And um, you got anything else to say? Um, that may be your top three, but golf's, golf's one of mine. Oh, yeah. Golf. <laughs> golf. <laughs> That's my top three, golf. We'll have to do a golf episode once. What are we going to do? Hit the, hit the cereals? <laughs> the Tiger Woods cereal. I bet you they have that out there somewhere. Oh, they might. I'll have to look that one up. So, well, thank you for watching. If you watched this whole tournament... We want to thank you for watching our tournament. We got some really great episodes planned for the future that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, we're going to go away from the competition and start trying some other uh, cereals. And our next, and our one on a future episode, we're going to go outside of the cereal Ooh. and do something outside cereal, but cereal related. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm pretty excited about that too. I'm sure you are. And um, any, any other any other thing you like to say, uh, yeah, Mr. You, ben? Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And don't forget, if you've um, been watching our videos, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when we post videos. And uh, at the very end of the video, when we, um, you're going to see a little thing come up again on our, our playlist of March Madness. If you visit any of our March Madness videos, it'll be in that playlist. And uh, you can watch the whole tournament over up to the championship matchup. So that'll be pretty interesting to see. It'll be pretty cool. And so just grab yourself a bowl. Wait, I got one more thing. Oh. I was going ahead of the schedule. Yeah, unbelievable. What's new, though? <laughs> uh, I want to drink water. That's a good idea. But if you guys comment down below, let us know if you guys agree with this one or if someone else should have won. I want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below. I like hearing from you guys. And now... You Grab can, yourself a bowl. There we go. Grab yourself a spoon. Grab your favorite box of cereal. Pour the milk. And enjoy. Till the next video, I'm Papa Swag. I'm Ben. Have a great day.